So I have these two Harbor Freight Syntec digital multimeters. And I got them for free with a coupon. Normally these cost about nine, ten dollars. The problem I'm having is the leads break off. It happened on both of these, both of the positive terminals, the little uh, test probe leads broke off of these. The cheapest I've found for these test leads are like $7, seven, anywhere from $7 to $14. So I'm going to show you how to make test leads for pennies. The items you'll need is some fish tank airline tubing or maybe an old pencil or pen with this plastic tubing that you can cut. An old Bic pen that you can get from the dollar store like 10 for a dollar. Those work. You can cut Take the, the center ink well out and cut it in half and use that. Or an old soda straw. Need some stereo wire or in, just about any kind of wire will work. This speaker wire is a little stiffer than the uh, stock leads, but it will work. Some metal nails to use as the tip of your probe. You also need some two-part epoxy. You also need a soldering iron, some flux, and some solder. So I'll need two of these finishing nails. Now that you have your nails separated, take some uh, fine grit sandpaper and clean up the coating on here. So I took the ends of my speaker wire and stripped about a half inch or three eighths of an inch off the ends and about a eighth of an inch where the banana plugs will go. Now that I have both of my nails soldered onto the wire, I can take the airline tubing and push it over the nail and the wire. Mix up your epoxy. Take a bamboo skewer, scrape this into the tube. Continue to press the epoxy down into the tube. You have maybe about five to ten minutes to work with this 30 minute epoxy before it becomes too solid to really run down the tube. You see how the epoxy is moving down the airline tube and gravity will also help you while the epoxy is still liquid enough to flow. So once you have the epoxy packed into the airline tubing, you can take a paper towel and gently go over the outside to wipe any excess off. And after it hardens, you can take a razor blade and scrape the epoxy that is on the metal probe, scrape that off, then take some fine grit sandpaper and go over it to polish it up and get any remaining epoxy off of it. And then for the plugs that go into the multimeter, you can buy like 10 or 20 of these cheap Chinese plugs for a couple bucks, like two dollars for 10 of them or 20 of them. The only thing, they have the screw, so you'll have to find a heat shrink that can go over this. And you can separate these wires if you want. So here's a inexpensive alternative to buying probe leads for uh, a free multimeter.